Hey, welcome back. Uh, Joe here from Data Analytics Ireland. Want to introduce you to a new concept of opening files in OR. Just take you through a couple of quick uh, ways of how you go about doing it. Depending on the file, there's a couple of different ways to do it. So um, today, what we're going to do is we've got a couple of files called a CSV file, a text file, an XLX, XX, and another text file. But there's, they're going to be opened in different uh, functions here, which I'll go through in a second. So the first way to do is um, using a thing called read table, which I think I've used before in some of my previous film or videos. Uh, read table is really handy because um, the output of it is very useful, the way it formats it and what you, what you can do with it. So it's something that's quite common you'll see it quite commonly used and referenced if you're searching around or doing different things in or and trying to work with data so something i would recommend you would uh, you should learn i'll put some information in the blog post after this video um, to kind of give you some background to it and some further reading if you require it so this this piece of script or script which i've created uh, we're going to use read table to op open basically open file as a txt file okay uh, we're going to use the same one again you can use it for csv and both instances i'm just going to print them um, the next one we're going to do is actually going to read x an excel file now the excel file is a little bit different you don't you can't use the read table so what we have to do if you want to use a function here called read excel is you basically have to do uh, an install on a package now i've done it already so i'm not going to do it now in this code but you only need to do it once once it's finished i've just commented out but it's called um if you uncomment this line and just go install dot packages open brackets what you see here read excel run that when it's done and completed just comment it out um second thing you would also need is read excel as well to well that's what you're going to reference that and basically the program the program so when you've installed this when you run this logic then the program will prompt you to load this in as part of the um project so what it will do then is once we know this package is loaded then it will actually load this in um it will just prompt you once once it's prompt once it works fine then again so it's pretty straightforward like a above you uh, reference so we use read excel function obviously and reference the file name so it's xls access open file dot xlsx okay um so there's another way um if you're we've up here we've used read table okay for a csv we can also do uh, read csv directly as well so this is going to open csv open file dot csv here and the final one we're going to look at in a second i'm going to run this obviously when i finish going through the code is going to do read lines and that's basically going to open uh, this text file it's just another way of opening a text file you'll see what i mean in a minute in the output the difference so certainly in this text difference between this text file and this text file in the output how it looks on this console but look you can this is a very basic this is an introduction so further on we can do videos on how to format it and get it look and feel the right way you want but for the moment the concept here is just to actually understand how to open them and see them on the screen so if i run this this should come down here okay uh, right so if you look here um the first one we've opened is this one here it's a text file okay i should say so we are opening a open file.txt so it's this here right so that's all that is text txt okay um next next one we opened was csv so again it's pretty much the same okay there you go csv okay so so that's this line here all right that's one there so that's the first line that's the second line so then uh, we're going to do the re read excel so this these couple of lines here all right and that e that equates to down here okay this information here so that's the xls data analytics Ireland. So that's what's contained in here so if i view this quickly it's that information there okay and the final one we want to 
or the next one, sorry, not the final. The next one is we're going to read using read CSV to read the CSV file. So as you can see, it brings it in and dots um, dots in between the actual letters. So if I just do, so we see the read CSV is the CSV open file dot CSV. So we can, there's no dots in here. So um, we, we need to do some additional work on this to remove the dots. Um, but look, that's for another day. Um, but just to kind of make you aware of that, that when you're reading in, that you will have dots in the output, in the printed output. And the, the last one is the read, read lines. And this is probably, you can see the difference here. So actually what I might do very quickly um, is the open file.txt. I'm just going to put in one, two, three, four, five, just to see if we can um, have a look at the, the difference in the output. So if I do this, okay, save. So this is the very first one. So this is the, originally this is the output here, right? So this is going to change. So if we rerun this, so what I might do is just clear this first of all. So there you go. So as you can see, this one reads it in as one column and as one, two, three, four, five, or as this reads it in in inverted commas, one, two, three, four, five. So essentially to pretty much give you pretty close to the same output, but again, it depends what you want to do in reading in the data, how you want to look and feel and where you're going to pass the data. You would need to do a bit of formatting on that. So that gives you a basic understanding of how to read a file in OR, bring it in and the different ways you can go about doing it. So read, just recap, read table, read Excel, read CSV, or we can do the read lines as well. So I hope that's helpful. Really appreciate it. if you're watching this, a uh, thumbs up, uh, follow us on our YouTube channel, subscribe. We're on Twitter and Facebook as well, quite active. So a lot of these videos will all be um, loaded through those uh, platforms as well. So you should get, get them anywhere, but really appreciate um, subscribe on the YouTube channel if you like this. So thanks for coming along and we'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.